Hey, this is Jason at OHW Paint. Uh, today we're going to give you a quick little video on um, Intercode Clear. Uh, a lot of people ask us what Intercode is, where it came from. Um, it's basically a coat that is used for many different things, but it's an in-between coat. Uh, it has got all the same properties as our OHW base paints, uh, being it's got a long dip window, it's got, it goes direct to pretty much everything out there besides HDPE, which needs to be uh, flame treated. Um, but there are still some questions out there in, uh, with regard to what do we use Intercode for? And we're gonna show you just now a couple of examples of what you can use it for, what a lot of our customers have used it for. Um, this is not intended to be a finished clear coat. Uh, you will still need to put a protective clear coat over the top of whatever project you have. But we're going to just run through a couple of examples quickly just to let you know what we can use it for. First one is uh, a lot of you out there are doing double dips. So you're doing gun stocks, you're doing con complex pieces that, you know, you need to dip one section uh, and then you want to mask up that dip pr to protect it and then dip the other section. Uh, a lot of the time, um, based on if you really nailed the dip in terms of uh, activators, sometimes the tape can pull a bit of the... Uh, previous dip off so what we do is we say listen dip your part bring it up don't mask it dip it bring it up and then rinse it let it dry and then you could put some intercoat over just the area you're going to apply tape to to protect the first dip and then spray the base coat for the second dip and then go ahead dip rinse and clear the whole thing at once so i'll show you what i mean here we have a part, it's a speed shape, just dipped in silver, uh, sprayed in silver, and all I did was just spray, uh, you know, activate the film, go in like this, no masking, and then bring it out uh, with carbon fiber. And now it's, you know, rinsed and uh, basically ready for the second half of the dip here. Um, but what I did was I sprayed some Intico just in this area here, which is the only place that the tape is gonna be applied. So you can apply your tape, get the mask that you want, tape this sec or paper this section off, dip this section, and now this tape has been protected, or the, the film is being protected from the tape by the intercoat, so you won't get any bit of the dip peeling off. So you would, you would basically tape off this section, spray the intercoat, uh, your base coat clear, take this off after you've dipped, and clear the, rinse and clear the whole thing. So that's one pretty, uh, you know, a good advantage for the Intercode. The next we have, um, a lot of people ask us about chrome and bare metals and bare plastics. They like the color of the chrome or the finish of the chrome um, or the aluminum and the, the, the plastic that they have is an OEM color plastic. They don't want to change the color of the plastic. So what you can do is with metals and plastics, you can degrease them and scuff them like you would to use our regular paint on top of, but you would use the intercoat as an agent to take the dip. So you would degrease your part, you would scuff it, you would spray the intercoat, that way you've got the silver, the aluminum, uh, you've got the color of the plastic coming through. You would go ahead and dip, and then rinse it off, and then clear it uh, on top. And you could see that you've got, you know, in this case it's aluminum, brushed aluminum. So you would get that aluminum coming through your dip. So that's another thing you can use it for. Another thing, a lot of the time we got a lot of guys doing Harleys, a lot of guys doing custom bikes and cars, and the factory OEM base coat is the color that the customer wants. They say, I don't want to change the blue, I don't want to change the red of my car or my bike, but I want carbon on it, I want skulls on it, I want flames on it, I want something dipped on top. So all you do is you would, um, degrease the part, scuff the part, and you would still be able to see the color of the factory underneath it, and then you would apply the intercoat over that, and that will again give your dip something to bite into. So basically degrease, scuff, intercoat, let it dry, dip, and then rinse and clear the whole thing, and then that way you will end up, in this case this is a Legend Blue, Harley Legend Blue, so you would actually just get that blue coming through if you're obviously if your film has got some clear in it, clear areas in it and then clear the whole thing uh, another uh, use of 
this, just the regular plain intercoat is um, here they want some people want to lay dips on top of other dips so in this case we have a stainless steel and a carbon over the top so what the method here is is you would dip the part in stainless steel you would rinse that let it dry apply the intercoat and then now the carbon fiber can bond to something so you would apply the intercoat over the dried stainless steel apply and then dip the carbon so now you have carbon over the top of stainless steel rinse that and clear coat the whole thing so uh, that's a fourth really good advantage of using an intercoat while you're dipping then we have our with our intercoats we can tint the intercoats with candies and we can tint the uh, tint the intercoats with metallic so I'm gonna just a quick thing on metallic intercoats um, a lot of the time we have um, a desire to, to have a for instance a black that we have here that we have applied a metallic intercoat over now if you, we mix a silver flake in with black we know you get graphite so it dulls the black down but with this you can actually keep the depth of the black and then the intercoat will act as a just as a glitter on top so you get to have from a distance a black car or a black bike and then when you come up in the sun you'll be able to get that flake that kind of uh, pops but really only when it's got a light on it or a sun on it similarly now with an intercoat metallic you'll be able to dip over that as well so that you'll have the metallic coming through and I'll show you one final example with an intercoat metallic is you can also this is a blue flame over black so you would dip the blue flame over the black and then you can put a metallic intercoat over the whole thing so now the whole dip is um, got a metallic to it or the dip you know the metallic can be under the dip as well and like all of these they need a final finished coat and we recommend our 2k clear um, and uh, yeah that's basically it that's just an introductory guide into intercoat clears and uh, you can find us at uh, www.ohwpaint.com and thanks for listening.